This week's OIO Prep Profile takes us to Coldwater, where senior Erica Harding is finishing up an impressive high school bowling career. She's currently averaging a 190 per game for an undefeated Cavs team. And as I found out during my visit to Coldwater, her success is the result of years and years of practice. Erica Hardings of Coldwater has heard that sound for her entire life. Yeah, I've been bowling since probably pretty much I can walk. My first bowling ball I can remember, it was a, a yellow SpongeBob one, I think it was. Now in her senior season, years of hard work have paid off. The Coldwater girls team has won the state championship each of the last two years, and Erica even won the individual title in 2013. Like in high school, I, I was like, it really came a big part of my life because I, my dad was always there. He was making me better. And then when we got to like the state finals and we made it that far, I was like, wow, I could really take this to the next level. I'm excited for her. I mean, it, uh, it seems like the, the pressure situations, she always seems to excel and step up a notch. Uh, and and, and she's always come through. So we've had some good luck. Uh, we just hope that luck continues and uh, she has a good run the rest of her senior year. Bowling is a family affair for the Hardings. Erica's dad, Rick, owns Playmore Lanes in Coldwater and pulls double duty as the team's coach. My parents built this place in 1976 and uh, me and my wife have owned it for like seven years now. It's always good to have him right there for me, cheering me on, keeping me motivated. And bowling's been in my family like my whole life. I'm, I'm always out here bowling. It's my life. I, I always do and I love it. Meanwhile, Erica's sister Paige is also on the team and despite being just a freshman, she leads the group with a 195 average. So it's a little bit of a, a sibling battle right now. I mean, she keeps me pushing to my neck, like to keep my goals where they're at, and we always have a competition like our, with our averages. But it's good to be teammates like that. Erica told me in the middle of the season, she said, "Hey, if we win another state title, I don't care if I'm number one in average or Paige or anybody else." She said, "Our our main goal is to win a state title." Given their tremendous success, anything less than another state title would be a disappointment. Our goals are set high, and that's the way we have, we have been here with our boys and girls programs. But returning all of our girls from last year, it would be a disappointment we didn't win, so it's my job to make sure uh, they stay focused we get the right girls in there who are bowling good. Our whole goal this season was to go, go back for the three-peat, and we'll see how it comes out. After graduation, Erica will attend Owens Community College to play volleyball. But that doesn't mean her bowling days are behind her. I love them both. I, I could still bowl for like two more years after I'm done with my two years of volleyball, so we'll just see what the future has for me. Erica and the Cavs have a big match with Versailles on Saturday that will decide the WOHSBC championship. And I'm sure we will be hearing from Erica again come state tournament time. All right, thank you, Matt. Staying in the lanes, the West Ohio High School Bowling Conference boys teams matching up. Snowed out matches that were in Versailles and Coldwater. The host Tigers handed Wapakoneta their first loss of the season last weekend. So now Versailles and St. Henry both a home game back of the Redskins in a packed house for bowling tonight. St. Henry's Troy Bueller. Bueller, look at him knock it all down. Strike for him. Skins win 28-70 to 25-16. The big match, Coldwater against Versailles. Blake Spangler, football state champion, showing some good spin. He gets the spare with too much of the Tigers on their home lanes. Strike for Dustin Rui. He goes 246-233 as the series. Versailles beats the Cavs 29-48-28. 93. How about LCC? James Ripinoff ripping a strike here. Birds win 27-85 to 25-77 over Rushi. Meantime, Parkway, it's Colby Walls. He's got a spare, but the Panthers fall to St. Mary's. Finally, Temple Christian, Austin Schellebarger. He picks up the spare. The Pioneers get the win 21-78 to 21-48 over the New Bremen Cardinals.